day students, join me as you learn how to count, solve and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jurel and welcome to our class. In a typical barbecue party, they usually place the vegetables in between marinated meat. The barbecue has roast pork, bell pepper, chili and cucumber. Observe the way the ingredients are arranged in a skewer. If 8 out of the 10 barbecue are following the same order of food on a skewer, what are the chances that the next set of 10 barbecue follows the same pattern? For today's session, we will talk about the permutation of objects. Are you ready students? Come on and let us begin our number full journey! Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. You may enroll in a standalone program in math. Just check the link in the description box to learn more. As we learn about permutation, we will answer these two questions. First, what is a permutation? Second, what are the things to remember in finding the number of permutations of an object? Come on, let's begin our discussion. Let's learn about permutation. A permutation is an arrangement or order of a set of distinct objects. The number of permutations of n distinct objects taken r at a time is given by permutation of n taken r is equal to n factorial over quantity of n minus r factorial where n is greater than or equal to r. Now, let's take a look at this. The art club organized a competition among junior high art enthusiasts. From the submitted entries, the organizers chose 10 and asked the judges to do distinct rankings, ruling out ties, with the notion that the top three will be winners. The school head is looking for a method to determine the total number of possible rankings. In a competition like this, ranking is essential to determine the top three. Though all ten finalists have the chance for the first place, it follows that nine are contenders for the second place because one has been chosen as top one. Moving on, the remaining 8 can be 3rd placers. Looking for the number of ways in ranking the artworks is an example of permutation. The total number of possible rankings is the same as the number of permutations of the 10 chosen entries. Taken 3 entries at a time. This is because from the 10 chosen entries, 3 of them will be ranked in order as 1st, 2nd, or 3rd. The permutation of 10 taken 3 is equal to 10 factorial over quantity of 10 minus 3 factorial equals 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial over 7 factorial equals 10 times 9 times 8 equals 720. Thus, using the formula, we have permutation of 10 taken 3 is equal to 720. Therefore, there are 720 ways that these entries can be ranked. Good job! How about this? Six girls were asked to sit at a round table. In how many ways can they be seated? For this problem, we need to use the circular permutation formula. Circular permutation tells us that the number of circular permutations of n different objects is given by the factorial of n minus 1. Going back to the problem, 
the number of ways to sift the six girls around the table is the same as the number of circular permutations of six different objects. With n equals 6, we have the factorial of n minus 1 is equal to the factorial of 6 minus 1. Equals 5 factorial. And that is equal to 120 ways. Therefore, there are 120 ways that the six girls can be seated in a round table. Can you try this? How many distinct permutations can be formed from all the letters of the word access? For this problem, we need to use the permutation with repetition formula. Permutation with repetition tells us that if among n objects, n sub 1 are alike, n sub 2 others are alike, still n sub 3 others are alike, and so on, then the number of distinct permutations of the objects taken all together is n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial and so on times n sub k factorial. Going back to the problem, the word access has six letters with two c's, two s, one a, and one e. Then n equals 6, n sub 1 equals 2, n sub 2 equals 2, n sub 3 equals 1, and n sub 4 equals 1. Using the formula, we have n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial times n sub 4 factorial equals 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial equals 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial equals 180. Therefore, there are 180 different permutations. Let's try more examples. There are six different positions in a food chain company to be filled from 12 aspiring applicants. The Human Resource Department will determine the deserving applicants from the results of their examinations and interviews. As the saying goes, may the best man win. In how many ways can these positions be filled by the applicants? Using the permutation formula, we have 12 times 11, times 10, times 9, times 8, times 7, equals 665,280 ways. There are 665,280 ways the positions can be filled by the applicants. Great! Let's have another one. In how many ways can a group of eight persons arrange themselves around a circular table? In the circular permutation formula, we have the quantity of n minus 1 factorial is equal to the quantity of 8 minus 1 factorial equals 7 factorial, which is equal to 5,040 ways. There are 5,040 ways a group of 8 persons can arrange themselves around a circular table. Good job! Let's try solving the next problem. How many distinct permutations are there in the word statistics? The word statistics has 10 letters with 3 T's, 3 S, 2 I's, 1 A, and 1 C. Then, N equals 10. N sub 1 equals 3, 
n sub 2 equals 3, n sub 3 equals 2, n sub 4 equals 1, and n sub 5 equals 1. Using the formula, we have 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial equals 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 over 3 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 factorial times 1 factorial equals 604,800 over 12 equals 50,400. Therefore, there are 50,400 different permutations. That was fantastic, students! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. A permutation is an arrangement or order of a set of distinct objects. The permutation formula states that the number of permutation n distinct objects taken r at a time is given by permutation of n taken r is equal to n factorial over quantity of n minus r factorial where n is greater than or equal to r. The number of circular permutations of n different objects is factorial of n minus 1. Permutation with repetition tells us that if among n objects, n sub 1 are alike, n sub 2 others are alike, still n sub 3 others are alike, and so on, then the number of distinct permutations of the objects taken all together is n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial and so on times n sub k factorial. You did great! I hope you learned a lot about permutations today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help students like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget, to click the subscribe button. Of course, to experience magical learning at home, check out Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. Just click the link in the description to learn more. Again, this is Teacher Jarel and see you on our next Number 4 Wednesday.